Hey guys, this is Peter Hrmot speaking, and you're watching my phone diary. Okay guys, I've just watched American Sniper, and I think it's one of the best movies of 2015 so far. It is a Clint Eastwood movie, directed by and produced as well, starring Bradley Cooper as the lead actor playing Chris Kyle. The film is based on true events and it goes on the journey of Chris Kyle where he is America's most successful military sniper. The film starts off where Chris Kyle protects soldiers that he feels with his unique skill he can save lives with. And the film continues with a very in-depth uh, character study of what it takes mentally to become the best American sniper and it continues to show how mentally he degrades as he becomes Becomes a better military sniper. It shows his passion of saving lives and where he feels he is one of the people that protects America and yet at the same time he slowly and surely loses his family along the way. It's difficult to have that mentality of killing people and still be a normal person in society. Now Clint Eastwood once again made an absolutely brilliant film about very little content. I currently like the way Clint Eastwood films movies. The writer is a second time writer on a film and he did an absolutely amazing job on something that is basically a half a paragraph of fact. He turned it into a very good story. I believe it's not the best story but it is so far the best story of 2015. The writer succeeded in giving us a con convincing drama from something that is not supposed to be a drama, supposed to be a war epic. It convincingly shows the emotion that Bradley Cooper or Chris Kyle has to go through a, a tour in Afghanistan. Slowly but surely shows how he's mentally destabilizes with every shot he takes, every decision he has to make. I, there's not much to say on the film other than that, than spoiling it, although there's not much spoilers because it is based on true story. It does touch on his family issues and how he has to cope at home and how he struggles to cope. Um, it also touches on the people that are close to him that he loses in Afghanistan and how he tries to cope with it by taking down the people that took their lives in the way he believes. I would recommend watching this film. I can see why it was uh, broke records in January box office worldwide, but I wouldn't say go out of your way with it. If you haven't watched it by now, I'll say wait until it's on TV or Netflix or some other broadcasting channel to to watch it but don't go out of your way too much. I did enjoy the film. I'm not going to watch it a second time. It is not as deep or brutal if you have watched other war epics. It is a great character study of what it mentally takes to become the best and to save your to fight for your country. So please tell me how I can improve my channel. Please subscribe. Hopefully better content will come soon. Thank you.